Hey, Darb, what you got there? Well, it's a wrench. A glowing power wrench? Nah, man, there's some heat off that. It's probably like an ice melter or something. Oh, you know what this is? It's one of those, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, instruments. Oh, yeah. yeah check, check it out. I can get into that. Yeah. Oh yeah, my chat. It's an electrical instrument. Ah! Ah! Is my arm gone? No, it's still there. So it's, it's on the ground, but it's so still there. It is on the ground then. Yeah. Okay, so you, still cut, there, you cut my arm right off. Oh, look who talks to me only when they want something. Fine, forget about it then. I will forget about it then. I'm gonna be using this thing all week long. Well, you got a lot more arms to cut off this week. Oh my God, did this thing oh cut off God, your you arm? What did they roll off off you? Are we? But then you're right. What would happen if you dropped that blade right down? Right just kind of keep going until it goes all the way started. to the station. It was an accident. Yeah. And it's not my fault that these mush cookers don't come with safety features. Well, well, I thought I heard the sound of pointless bickering. And of course, it's coming from table 417. Dumpy, dummy, robo, and mouse. Hey, Brad, I think that there's an officer over there that needs his butt smooched. Yeah, well, I got a toilet that needs cleaning, and I got diarrhea. OK, what do you want, Brad? This wouldn't be contraband, would it? I'd hate to have to write you up again. Brad, give that back. No. Give it back. No, you give it back. You have it. You have it. You have it. You have it. You have it in your hand. Thank you. For what? You gave it back. I didn't give it to you. It's mine. No, I'm you now, so you have it again. You're me? Well, then give it back. I already did. Give it, give it back to me for real. I'm going to put this in my pants. Don't put it in your pants. Come put on. put this in my pants. No, don't. Give me it. No. No. What? Don't. No. Don't, don't, don't do this right don't, now. You don't. Like, what, no, don't, don't, do not. Do, you suck. Ah! Oh, my God. OK, well, obviously, we have to get rid of that thing because it's super dangerous. Edith is right. That thing's definitely got to go. I just want to say, in my defense, that Brad is a dick? I know how you feel about that. But you have to admit, the second arm cut was 100% Brad's fault. Brad or no Brad, that thing's deadly. What if you cut off my head, huh? What then? We just reattach it the same way we did your arm. They can't do that. They can't reattach heads. Look, that's a dangerous piece of equipment that's not meant for us. You don't know how to use it. We don't even know what that thing is. Well, if it's not a mush cooker, it's for sure an instrument. I got a new piece. You want to hear it? I hate it. I hate that song. That's a terrible song. You think it's worth keeping this thing for that? I haven't even gotten to the good part yet. OK, fine. Do the good part. That's the good part? That's worse than the part before! It's just a demo. Is that one of those laser swords? They must be rebels. Blast them. No, 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 Why were they shooting at us? What did you do? I don't know. What did you do? You're the one waving that thing around. Th this thing, this thing saved our lives. That's why they were shooting at us. They thought we were rebels. What is this? 
This is not what we thought it was. This is something else. Oh, well, I don't care what it is. You're throwing it out the air like before it causes us any more trouble. Oh, but it's just so cool. Oh, Darv, you're losing it. Mike, you're just jealous. <laughs> I understand your anger. Could you please scratch my nose? Stop what you're doing. Lieutenant Tannis, sir. What have you got there? I have identified this contraband item and taken the initiative to throw it out of the airlock because it's too dangerous for the garbage mashers. Good work, custodian. Show it to me. Uh, yes, sir. It is a light-based arm cutter, sir. Not only did he say that he would think about putting in a good word with the brass, but he gave me 50 credits as a reward. Turns out they've been looking for the beam rod all day. What's the matter, Mike? I'm not gonna blame you for trying to make me throw 50 credits out the airlock. Oh, that's not it. My arms are fine, thanks for asking. Yeah, how are your arms? It, it just it seems strange. You know, why would he give you a reward? Did you guys hear? Dark Lord's offering 10,000 credits for the beam rod. What? You're rich? 